I'm deep digging down Across the woods I scan With my metal detector and my pointer I search for gold deep below the earth When it's found I replace the turd I mostly find what I'm looking for Oh yes I do Deep Digger Dan, come on, get in! Now I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I'll tell you something. I'm pretty sure I've got a little silver spoon there. That is lovely. Can you see the decorations on the neck of it? There, look. Beautiful. And the more I rub it, the more it looks silver. I don't know. I think I've got a beautifully ornate silver spoon there. And a very old one. I think that's been... It's, it's got the design done by hand. It's not a machine thing. That is lovely and that is old and that is mine. Now that could be nothing but it could be something very, very nice. It's, as you can see, like a shield shape. It's got two little knobs here on the back. And a little knob thing on the top there. I don't know what it is. I need to clean it up, but yeah, that could be something. How are you? What am I doing? Oh, haven't you heard of this kind of communication? It's called tree log banging. Um, basically, people do it. Apparently, this is how Sasquatch and Bigfoot communicate with each other through banging on trees. Now, I'm just having a chat with the girlfriend there. Um, yeah, I got this off Vodafone. They've come up with, they've copied the idea basically. It's obviously a Bigfoot idea. Um, but yeah, Vod Vodafone have come up with it. I've got this on contract. It's only five euros a month. And it's it's unlimited, unlimited bangs. So I've just been chatting with the girlfriend. Hang on a second. I'll call you back, love. I will call you back. I will. I'm just making a video. I'll call you back. I'm going. Bye. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, five euros. It's a uh, contract. Two years. Five euros every month. And they give you the log. Um, and if, if you want to send texts, they send me this as well. It's like a, a limited offer thing. Um, for texts, a little text texter. You have to put some kisses on end when you're talking to a girlfriend, don't you? So yeah, get one. www dot vodafone forward slash tree log banger promotion dot com. Brilliant. I better ring her back, she's furious. A beautiful buckle. I've not had one that shape before. Can anyone date that for me? Nice. Love it. A few more. Come on, beautiful. Get in. Okay, that was heavy. But I've managed to lift it up. Hey, what is it? Someone tell me what this is. Now, on the back here, in fact, <laughs> it's the bottom of a car, isn't it? That's the handbrake. I was thinking a speedboat at one point, but no, that's a handbrake. And these are the, the footwells. I think that's the bottom of a car. Jesus. I'd love to know the history of that. I don't believe this. There's a bloody Bigfoot coming. What? God, he's big. I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to girlfriend. Bugger off and stop listening to me conversations. Look, just back off, alright? Leave me alone. Ha <laughs> ha!
Yeah, that scared you off, didn't it? Tosser. I got an upgrade. Another two euros a month. Keeps keeps the big foots away. Come on. Get in. Yeah. Tosser. Shit, it's broke. It's coming back. Right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Right, that's quite cool because the back of it makes it look like it's a brooch or something. Like it clips on something. But the front of it doesn't really look like any kind of brooch. Um, I think it's just made out of lead. But why has it got that on the back as if it's a badge or something? I don't know. It's started to throw it down now, by the way. This was not forecast. Hey, come on! I found another, another lead toy soldier on the horse. The difference being, he's still got his head. I found one with a head at last. Beautiful. The only thing broken on it is his back foot there. It looks like it's snapped. But that is nice. It's big, it's heavy, it's lead. And that's one of the best I've found. That's lovely. Can't wait to clean that up and show you a nice picture of it. Beautiful. Now come on, sort this weather out. This was not forecast and I'm furious. Yet another buckle. I think this is the same design as the last one. Now what have we got there? I'm probably completely wrong, but I'm thinking possibly, just possibly, a pin off an hand grenade. But I've no idea. Someone will know. Someone will tell me. What is it? Come on. Now I'm guessing this is an ostrich egg toaster. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Obviously the ostrich egg goes in the middle there. It's all plastic apart from a tiny bit of metal at the back there. And then you've got this little lever. Which I presume is like, you know, do you want it boiled or fried? <sighs> but that's all I can think that is. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I would like to know what that is. It's plastic. Right, I've done something a bit stupid today. Um, I've come out in all blue. Literally all blue. And I thought, because it's cooler today, I thought the mosquitoes would stay away. They're not. It is a fact, mosquitoes de uh, love blue, that is their favourite colour. So, if you want to keep mosquitoes away, wear lighter colours. Maybe not white, but cream or something, I don't know. But don't wear blue, this was a big mistake and they're all over me. And I've run out of spray. So yeah, just a little tip. Don't wear blue if you've got mosquitoes in your area. Now to you, that's just crap. But to me, that's actually quite cool. I'm get, I think that's copper. It's not very big. No idea what it's from, what it is, but I'm thinking ashtray. What, I don't mean I'm thinking it was an ashtray. I'm thinking I'm going to turn it into an ashtray. That'll do nicely on my balcony. I'm going to keep that. That's my new ashtray. Beautiful. Woohoo! Free! Uh, some kind of clip of some kind. No idea what. I did get excited because I thought it was silver when I first found it, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But, yeah. Any ideas? Now, I can't believe I've come across this little fella again. I don't know if you watch all my videos, but uh, I found him uh, about two weeks ago. And I was saying, if I was a woman slug, I'd go for him. He's, he's quite. He's got a nice, sexy back. He's found himself a girlfriend, and here she is. Look. Now, personally, if I were him, I'd have held on a bit because she's a bit fat. I wouldn't have gone for her. Um, but hey, he's happy. I'm really pleased for him. But what has disappointed me is he didn't wear a condom. No condom. They've had a baby. They've had a bloody baby. They've only been together for three weeks. You dirty little git. Wear a condom in future. You've ruined your life. You're stuck with that fat cow. And you've got a baby. 
it's no good trying to run, run away up here. You've got to go change his nappy every few hours, feed him, put him to sleep, blah de blah de blah, and listen to that fat cow nagging at you. Trust me, I know. By the way, when I said I know, I wasn't speaking about my current girlfriend at all. Um, I was speaking about a previous relationship, uh, one of them with a previous baby and a previous set of circumstances. I would never ever speak derogatory about um, my girlfriend. She's lovely and she might watch this so don't take it personally darling. I wasn't speaking about you. Okay. Well, I'll see you soon yeah. Well I really don't know what that is. And the annoying thing is I don't know what it says. Uh, I don't know what the top says but Fur D is for the Tasha. I don't know what Tasha is, and I should know. On the back is a little design, but it's. I'd have thought it's a bottle top, but it can't be because it's no screw thread, it's just. I've no idea. Can someone tell me what that is for? Another lead toy soldier on a horse. Headless again this time. But a nice one, another big one. Getting, I found three really big ones this week. Big heavy lead ones. Happy with that. I'm so lucky in how many of these I find. Some people dream of finding things like this. I find them every single day. Lovely. Another spoon for you there. Very old. It's not a very good one though. Look, it's fall the end's about to fall off. If you put one spoonful of porridge on there, it's going to snap. But a spoon. Right, a bird identification ring there. And that is a big bird. Don't know what kind of bird that's off, but CZ, so I'm guessing it's Czechoslovakia. Uh, 1960. Not a bad find, really. Vodafone are also doing a limited edition a tree banging log. Um, and here, here is one of them. They've sent me one to show as a sample because they know I'm promoting Vodafone at the moment. Um, and here it is, look. It's basically got fungi all over it. And it is extremely nice. Beautiful. I'd like to walk around with that rather than just a plain one. Um, but you're looking at 9.99, 9.99 for a month. Personally, I can't afford that, um, so I'm going to stick to the, uh, you know, the tree log banging communicator. They've already sent me. Okay, we have a coin, a World War II coin, 1942, with the SWAT sticker on the um, first coin of the day. So happy with that. By the way, I found a coin yesterday, you might remember, um, 1870-80 it was, it turned out to be, and it's Russian, a Russian coin, and apparently they can be very, very valuable, so quite excited about that, the condition isn't very good unfortunately, but yeah, Russian coin, 1873, my first Russian coin, but there's a World War II one for you. Right, I'm calling that a day, um, Hitler's gold isn't here another lead which isn't true I, I will find it but it's not on that lake bed what I did find today is two nice buckles uh, uh, World War 2 coin and two lovely lead toy soldiers so I can't complain that's a decent day in it for three four hours four hours detecting that ain't too bad right I'll leave it at that and I'll see you next time I better just tell girlfriend I'll, I'm coming home I'll be home in 10 minutes, love. No, 15 at the most. Has anyone got the number for Vodafone customer services? Deep Digger Dan, come on, get in.